Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a numerical expression. I, hope I haven't done this video before because I remember doing something like this. Hopefully not the same one. We have 10 to the power 20 divided by 20 to the power 10 and we're going to simplify this. I'll be presenting at least two methods and let's start with the first one. First of all, we could go ahead and think about it this way. The exponents are different, right? And the bases are different. And they actually switch around too. So we can kind of look at it as a to the power b over b to the power a. Or we can look at it more specifically, and this is going to be a better version. x to the power 2x divided by 2x to the power x. This is actually going to be more helpful because this allows you to kind of split it up into different things. We could pro probably talk, uh, talk about that a little later. But for my first method, I want to... Um, use the same exponents. So 10 to the power 20 is basically 10 to the power 10 squared. In other words, 10 to the 10 times 10 to the 10. So let's go ahead and replace it with that. So we start with 10 to the 20 divided by 20 to the 10. Replace the 10 to the 20 with 10 to the 10 times 10 to the 10. As you know, when we multiply two powers, we add the exponents, right? Of course, they have to have the same base. Well, these two numbers have the same base and the same exponent, which is a different story, but anyways. So numerator is that, and the denominator is going to stay the same. Now let's go ahead and put these two together and use the rule for division. How do you divide when the exponents are equal? So you have something like a to the x divided by b to the x. And as you know, we just divide the bases and the exponent will stay the same because that's kind of like a common exponent. So this becomes 10 to the 10, by the way, we have to set this aside, right? Multiplied by, because we're multiplying 10 to the 10 by a fraction, 10 over 20 to the power 10. And of course, this is going to become 10 to the power 10 times, if we simplify inside the parentheses, we get 1 half to the power 10. And now we have two numbers with the same exponent, so we can go ahead and multiply the bases. You see how we use those rules. And now this is going to give us 10 times 1 half, which is 5. So the answer is going to be 5 to the 10th power. Make sense? Pretty nice, uh, simple expression. Now, what is 5 to the 10th power? I don't know, but it's definitely a number that ends in 5. And if you just think about 5 to the 4th power, that is 625. So 5 to the 5th is going to be 3,125. And if you square both sides, you're going to get 5 to the 10th power, right? And what is that going to look like? Well, if this is about 3 times 10 to the 3, it's probably going to be something like 9 uh, million-ish, or maybe even 10 something million. Okay? You get the idea? But that's the answer in exponential form. And this is the first method. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. The second method uses the basis. So, since we can split up 20 into 2 times 10, and we have a rule that says, okay, if you have a times b to the power x, you can write it as a to the x times b to the x. So I can go ahead and write this as 10 to the power 20 divided by 2 to the 10 times 10 to the 10. And now I can go ahead and bundle these two together. And division means we're going to subtract the exponents. But there's nothing else here. So let's put a 1 there and take care of this first. So we have 1 over 2 to the 10th multiplied by 10 to the power 10 because, again, the exponents are being subtracted, right? And now this kind of turns into 10 to the 10 divided by 2 to the 10. And as you know, when the exponents are the same, we can divide the bases. That gives us 5 to the 10th power again, right? Okay, great. So this is the second method. Notice that it's different because with the first method, we did use a different approach, right? As you can see here. And with the second method, we kind of use the same exponents, right? I mean the same basis, sorry, as opposed to the same exponents. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the third method, and we can definitely talk about a fourth method which kind of generalizes things, okay? Third method. So for my third method, I would like to do the following. Let me rewrite the problem first. 10 to the 20 divided by 20 to the 10. I know some people are thinking, now, why don't you use a calculator? You can just go ahead and split up. Yes, definitely. You can always do that. Anyway, so 
Let's go ahead and see how we can uh, do this differently. I can use prime factorization. Yes, great. So now let's go ahead and factor 10 into 2 times 5. And 20 is just 4 times 5 or 2 to the second power times 5. Now we're going to replace those numbers, the bases, with those 2 times 5 to the power 20 divided by 20 is going to be replaced with 2 to the second times 5. And then I'm supposed to raise 20 to the power 10, right? Notice that I have the same expression. I just changed the bases. I wrote them in factored form, right? Make sense? Okay, good. Now, from here, what can we do? Again, we have the situation where we have a times b to the power x, which is a to the x, b to the x. But not only that, we also have something like a to the power x to the power y, which is a to the power x, y. So we, we're going to write this as follows then. 2 to the 20 times 5 to the 20 divided by 2 to the second to the 10 times 5 to the 10. Awesome. Now we're going to use our, the second property I just mentioned, this one. And that's going to give us 2 to the power 20 here. So you can go ahead and cancel these two out. Isn't that cool? This, this is definitely a different method, right? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, you know, just handle these two things. And those are two expressions with the same base. So we can go ahead and subtract the exponents, which is going to give us 5 to the power 20 minus 10, which is 5 to the 10th power. Again, we're getting the same answer. Even with the third, of course, we should always get the same answer. Otherwise, we made a mistake. Let's go ahead and talk about the fourth method. It's kind of rare that I use four methods, but I think for this one, I'm going to use it. And now this is the generalization of these kinds of problems. You, you've probably seen similar problems before, and I, I think I've done quite a few of these with different powers. Obviously, you can make up some problems like 10 to the 30 divided by 30 to the 10. Just play with the numbers. Make sure that one of the numbers is a multiple of the other. In some cases, a power of the other. For example, we could also make up a problem like 10 to the power 100 divided by 100 to the power 10. But this would be kind of easy because we would just use powers of 10, right? All the time, pretty much. Okay, anyways, so let's get back to this. And the generalization method is follows. We're going to call this x. So the exponent is going to be 2x. So now we're going to have x to the power 2x divided by 2x to the power x. I don't want to use parentheses, but I have to. So now we can approach this differently, right, obviously. We can, first of all, again, the fourth method has two branches. One of them is kind of like, okay, I can write it as x to the 2x and then 2 to the x times x to the x using the property a times b to the x, right? And then here, I can kind of, again, look at different things like these two. I'm going to put those together. Since they have the same base, I can basically subtract and write it like this. And then eventually, I can put it in this form. And again, with x equals... 10, this is going to be 5 to the 10th power again, right? Notice that? Okay, another way to approach it, obviously, would be we have x to the 2x divided by 2x to the x. We can kind of write this as x squared over 2x because this would be x squared to the x and 2x to the x. And now I can write as x squared over 2x and then all of that is to the x. But x squared and x cancels out. x over 2 to the power x with x equals 10. This is 5 to the 10 again. And whatever you do, you're going to arrive at the same answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.